Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna. For those of you who are new here, welcome. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you the January Your Creative Studio box as well as some happy mail. And if that is of interest to you, please stay tuned. Okay, so the bulk of the video will be about the box here, but I did get some unexpected happy mail, and so I'm gonna end the video with that. So let me uh, put this away, and then we can get tucked into this. Alrighty, so this is the January Your Creative Studio box. I do have a four month subscription. This is month number three for me. Now, there was a little bit of a snafu, so the way that I understand it is, the December box got jammed up in the mail or something happened. And so your creative studio sent what they were going to send uh, for February. So we got the February box in December, but I actually got that earlier this month. Uh, the January box also had some issues. And so they were sending the March box for January. So I guess somewhere along the line, their December and January actual boxes got lost. I, I don't know. But I did get two boxes again, December and January. It is currently January the 29th. So I mean, it, it still works. So I'm assuming I'm going to get one more box in February, the way that they've been going. I'm assuming that's what's supposed to be their April box. We shall be surprised together. Anyway, let's go ahead and open this up. I do have it upside down because my address is on the other side. All right, so that is the box open, your creative studio. This does look like the same paper as the last one. So I'm thinking they just have standard paper, but maybe all of these different things are going to be part of their boxes. Not sure, because Butterflies was the last week one. This is the card. It's looking good because it looks like it is flowers. And you guys know I love me some flowers. So let me take this out and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's do some sorting. I'm sorry if the, the glare is bad, but we've got this. This came a little dinged, but still absolutely usable. The things in the box usually are cling stamps, so that's good. We've got some things in cellophane. Ooh, pretty, pretty, pretty. And some things, some things, some things. All right, there's a whole bunch of cell. Oh, that's gorgeous. Sorry, squirrel moment. Uh, there's a whole bunch of things in plastic. So I'm going to take some of them out uh, like this. I'm not, it's just washi stickers. I think you guys can see it. I don't actually have anything like this. Uh, so that's cute. But some of the papers and whatnots I will take out. And again, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's try to make some sense of this this was fully cellophane so it's attached by the cord so that's good otherwise this would be a little unwieldy so they're tickets but like okay maybe this is just the cover because there's a like a plastic -y acetate thing but it's bendy it's more bendy than i've seen acetate and are these Oh, these are stickers. That's lovely. And they're like stamp, um, like ticket style. And so it looks like you get doubles. So there's one, two, three. Oh, that's cute. Four. Five, six, seven. Okay, so I don't know if that was another one because there's only one of these, but it's a different style potentially. Eight, nine, ten. Now, based on some of these, it makes sense that this is their March box because it's very Eastery. And I'm assuming that. Uh, either late March, early April is when Easter is. 
and I forgot what count we were on, so I'm just gonna flip. And I'm just flipping to show you. Okay, so, I mean, I, I guess that's not Christmas. I don't know, it's cute, but it's, it's very eclectic. I love that they're all stickers, though. That's a lot more bunnies than I ever thought I needed in my life, but it just keeps going. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But it's really cute. I don't have anything like this in my arsenal. And it's definitely in the colorways. I do like neutrals. I do like a more cottage core vibe. So this is actually really cute. And I like that it's all together. I might have to take this off and see if I can find one of those like metal rings because uh, it would make this turn easier. But just to hold it together for now, that works perfectly. And just shove that back in there. Okay. This came as a set. This was a bunch of paper, or this is a, oh no, no, these are stickers. What's a sticker? That's actually very exciting because then you can rip these down and you have an easy collage look. Again, I love the neutrals. They look to be all different. There is a scent. Yeah, there definitely is a scent to these. It's not super unpleasant. Oh no, this is paper. But there definitely is a smell. So if you are sensitive, just be aware. If you're getting one of these boxes, that could be a thing. Okay, now this all was a set. And so these are all papers. There seems to be multiples of each. But again, I do like it. It's in the colorway that I like. Let's do some investigation. Or maybe these papers were from here because that actually kind of makes more sense. So we've got these three. Like that's the same image, but the background on how they've collaged it, and I'm, I'm assuming they've done it digitally, is different. So you could actually still layer these things up this is slightly different. Well, no, that's different right there. It looks like they must have cropped that one out because the other leaves are in the exact same position. And again, I don't mind that because you could actually layer these things up and it would look really pretty. Kind of making a mess of the, the show, but yes. It looks like it's tea dyed. It's very thin, so for collage purposes, it works perfectly, and there's multiples of each. Um, I mentioned in the last unboxing that I did, because of the volume that they send in one of their boxes, I certainly see the value in it, but I also don't know that once my four month subscription is over, that I'm actually going to renew, just because there is so much stuff. I still want to send stuff to um, some of my friends out in the community. Um, and I don't know that I'm going to need more than I already have. And again, I still have one more box. And then these are exactly the same and they're very thick. So, I mean, I'm gonna keep those as well. This is a sticker sheet, just like last time. Yeah, they're very sheer, but they are like a PVC. So they're not washy sticker type. So there is a little bit of a thickness to them. Oh. Okay, I wasn't sure what this was, but it looks like sheets of vellum and just random things. So like that ticket one, that makes sense. This one right here, not so much. It looks like they've taken sheets and just cut them down and then glue bound them. Again, as a element in a journal, junk journal, whatever, it's cute, plus because it's sheer, it would make an interesting layered effect. So 
so you still see what's underneath it it still brings some color above it you could put it underneath there i mean i love little things like this and more so i love that it's contained so and it looks to be contained pretty well in there so unless you're like me and you just randomly rip things out it's going to stay in there this is another vellum thing again it doesn't feel like stickers but these look to be different. It is perforated, so you can um, rip it off. And I love these little touches on a page. And if it is vellum, let's just do some experimentation. Normally I'd let that air dry. But yeah, you can color on these. So if you did want to bring an element of color, you absolutely could. And it should, it should stay. Yeah, that's not moving. So this is really cute. And because it's in black and white, this can actually tie into anything because if you're laying this on top of other things, whether you have really bright things, really neutral things, it'll all fit. Okay, got this little pack of cards. These are thick, oh, and they're double-sided. Because they're so thick, I probably, well, I don't know, depending on what I use it in, um, I can see it as like a journaling spot. It is coated, so you'd either have to put a sticker or one of these papers on top so that you can write on it. I'm assuming that a Sharpie would work because it is slick. Um, and then you could just use this as like a flip journaling spot. But otherwise, um, I don't know how I'd use this unless I'd use this as like a thank you card um, and then just put a little sticker to write a sentiment and then maybe a, a thank you on the top of this. I don't know. The size is nice. It's just because it's so thick, it's going to bulk up whatever it is that you're using it in. These are some papers and seem to be a little bit of outliers just based on the colors. It's called Cottage Garden. And yeah, there definitely are papers. There seems to be doubles. It's just like little, what is this? Two by three, three by four little papers. And again, this would be really fun for collaging. It fits the neutrals but it does bring some colors that I haven't seen yet. So like these blues, they look really great with the browns. It's just nothing else so far has had that. But it's cute and I like it. Okay, let's see what's in this little box. Oh, more of these. Are these stickers? Yes, they are. They're stickers and they're actually a good thickness. They do have a bit of tooth to them. So um, depending on what kind of pen you use, there might actually be some bleeding, but these are a little bit bigger and all the, oh no, I'm a liar. There's more down here. It's actually quite packed, <laughs> but there's quite a few of these and I'm always in the market for a label sticker, absolutely. And then I do love me some neutrals. So that's really cute. And I think the last thing for us to look at, oh no, this is a washi, but it's what's in these uh, little bags here. Oh, that's pretty. Now this is not paper. There is, there is a thickness to it. It's not super thick, but it's not as sheer as you'd like. Oh, it definitely has a smell but it's also very pretty. So it's just more of that uh, kind of wild flower theme. And the scent is plasticky, almost chemically. I don't remember having that kind of reaction with the other two. It's not unpleasant, but I'm go I mean, as much as I like this, if it doesn't air out, um, in a couple of days or 
Yeah, because I'm going to have to, it's actually bothering my nose. <laughs> I'm going to put this far away, but in my room. Um, and if in a few days it still has that scent that kind of bothering my nose, then I'll just toss it. I don't have a super strong scent sensitivity, but scents can sometimes trigger migraines for me, so I try to be aware. Okay, so there's one stamp. Again, there's a little bit of a scent, not as strong as this, but there is one, but it's in the kind of stamp that I really like. There's text and there's flowers, so that's really cute. And then there's whatever's in here. And these are a bunch of loose ones. Again, just wild flowers, I suppose. That's what they're called. And so they do play in well with this. Uh, it does play in well with the rest of it. I haven't actually used any of these. I like that they're on foam, but it also seems like it would give you sort of a, um, a muddy, I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I would get a clear image or if it would be not clear. <laughs> I don't stamp well anyway, and it just seems like something like this that doesn't have any kind of rigidity to it, it would not stamp as cleanly as I'd like it to. But again, I haven't tried anything, so I don't know for sure. So let me put all of this away. I need to put this away for me. That's not bueno. And then let me show you and end the video with the happy mail that I received. Okay, and I did get some happy mail from Miss KD. I'm not going to say her name. I didn't ask if uh, I could have permission to say it. So Miss KD, I did reach out to her on Instagram. And I was actually a little confused when I got this because I recognized her name but I'm like but how did she get my address <laughs> and then I realized she had won a giveaway and so uh, in her card to me uh, she had said that she had seen that I had the English version of this the one with the U in it and she had had a double and so she sent this to me thank you so much Miss Katie um, and that's her initials her, her name's not Katie and then she also sent me this one now, this one made me laugh a little because I had this one uh, and then when I look through it, I'm like, no, I don't know if I'm vibing with it. So I asked Poet if she wanted it, so I sent it to her. But then when I was looking at this, this is actually perfect because of my coloring the year of the tiger <laughs> hashtag. So I've got, what, four pages right here. So thank you, Miss Katie. And then in here, yeah, there were some stickers. And the ones that actually I was super interested in was these right here because this looks like it must come from the Miss Maker line. Now, when I was first interested in Happy Planner several years ago, the Miss Maker sticker book was the one that got away. Uh, I had the ability and the chance to get it. I was like, nah, nah, it's, it's fine. I can't always get it later. And then you couldn't, you couldn't get that particular sticker book later. And so I love that it's crafty. I love the colors. And then this one, <laughs> uh, it says money can't buy happiness, but it can buy craft supplies. And that's pretty close. For those in the coloring book community, uh, we should have a sticker that says that as well. Now it is the same yellowed paper. So I, I don't know why I thought it was going to be on white paper, the American version, but it's not. Um, this is, oh, but it's the same publisher. Hold on. Okay. I've got a stack of Joanna Basford stuff here just to show you some things. This is my Ivy and the Inky Butterfly that I bought secondhand from my friend Susie, who's in the UK. And this one was published by Virgin Books. And so the paper, it's not like stark white, but it's certainly not cream. And again, my lights are being stupid, so it might actually be more white than this. This is World of Flowers, the American version, and it is published by Penguin. But if you look at the Enchanted Forest, the one with the U, the one with the U, and then the American version, the one without, they are both published by Kay. 
So it makes sense now why the colors are exactly the same. I'm assuming the paper is going to be exactly the same. Uh, because I have two of these and I actually don't have two of, I, yeah, I don't have two of any other coloring book. I'm actually gonna take one of these to work because I do like to color during my lunch. I think I will take the British version there and this one here. And because I have two, now it opens the door for me to work with alcohol markers in this because, well, and honestly, there are some pages in here I don't gravitate towards anyway. But now I don't have to worry that I'm sacrificing the backside uh, just because I do have two of the books. So, Miss Katie, thank you so much. It was unexpected. Um, it came yesterday, Friday the 28th, and my Friday was going well until it didn't. There was a little bit of a, a hiccup, work related, of course. Uh, and then I went out and I'm like, oh, I got some happy mail and then once I figured out I'm like oh, okay okay it makes sense now and so I did message her on Instagram thank so. you so much um, and I will uh, mark on here that I did get this uh, or I did get this one from you and it just makes it extra special thank you so much for thinking about me anyway guys that's it for this video I'd love to know what you think of the your creative studio box uh, love all of the things that were included um, but the smell, uh, it's definitely going to be problematic. And if you are sensitive to that, just be aware if you are expecting your box so that you can maybe open it outdoors or in something that's more ventilated than what I'm currently in right now. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me for now. And as always, aloha.